historical perspective of immunology from this lecture you will learn about immunology and immune system history of immunology importance of immunology theories about humoral and cellular immunity and recognition of foreign substances by immune system before everything else we will learn about the definition of immunology immunology is the study of immune system and is very important branch of the medical and biological sciences what is immune system the immune system is a complex network of cells and proteins that defends the body against infection our immune system keeps a record of every microbe that it has ever defeated so it can recognize and destroy the microbe quickly if it ever enter the body again our immune system protects us from the infection through various lines of defense if our immune system is not functioning as it should it can result in diseases such as autoimmunity allergy and cancer historical perspective of immunology now we will look at the history of immunology so where does the term immunology came from the term immunology is derived from a latin word immunus which means exempt if we look at the history that is on the record about immunology we will definitely discuss about the plagues in athens where it was first noted a historian thucydides who was a historian of peloponnesian war he mentioned that only those who have recovered from the plague could nurse the sick at that time because why were they doing that because they would not contract the disease again just like we do in immunology today we understand that once you get a disease if you contract that disease again it will not affect you the in the same way that it affected you when it, when you got this disease for the first time so they used the same phenomena at that time vaccination studies led the way to immunology So if you look at the history in 15th century the Chinese and Turks tried to prevent smallpox by using dried grass from smallpox pustules how they did that they used those dried grass and either by inhaling or inserting them into cuts in the skin which used to give them positive results so when a british ambassador saw these positive results she tried the same on her kids which also gave her positive results now we have a scientist named edward jenner he stated that introducing fluids from a cowpox pustule into people might protect them from smallpox uh, he made this observation from the fact that milk maids who had contracted the mild disease cowpox were subsequently immune to the much more severe smallpox so edward jenner this physician he reasoned that introducing fluid from a cowpox pustule into people might protect them from smallpox so he wanted to try this idea so he inoculated an 8 year old boy with fluids from a cowpox pustule and later he intentionally infected the child with smallpox as he predicted the child did not develop smallpox here you can see an african boy with smallpox vaccination is an ongoing worldwide enterprise louis pasteur Uh, this scientist he grew bacteria that could cause cholera and injected it in chickens which developed fatal cholera so he then he went on vacation 
but when he came back from his break he resumed the experiment and then he used those old cultures to inoculate chickens he saw that they became sick but recovered from it so he concluded that weak or attenuated strain could be used to provide immunity against the disease so pasteur called those weak or attenuated strains as vaccines and the term vaccine came from a latin word for cow he named it vaccine in the honor of edward jenner's work on cow box and then on the small box classic experiments of louis pasteur louis pasteur performed an experiment on two group of sheep he used bacillus anthracis he used heat killed bacteria to inoculate one group of sheep and then he used virulent strain on both vaccinated and unvaccinated groups he found that only the vaccinated groups survived the virulent strain and that was the start of the recipient immunology pasteur administered his first vaccine to a human a young boy who had been bitten repeatedly by a rabid dog that boy was inoculated with a series of attenuated rabies virus uh, this vaccine is one of very few that can be successful when and when administered shortly after exposure as long as the virus has not reached the central nervous system